welcome back uh, this is continuation video of our last video that is a mass statement in a SQL server great we have discussed what is the mass statement right we have discussed all the cases just to recap uh, the cases we have discussed in the last video the case one was if table one has ID equal to one and table 2 doesn't have that id that id then then delete should happen this was our case 1 case 2 was if table 1 has id and table 2 doesn't have that id right this was the case one and our case two is if table one has id and table two also have same id also have a same id then what should happen then update should happen there was a one more third case we have discussed and that case was if table 1 doesn't have that id and table 2 have that id then what should happen if table 1 has not has not table 1 doesn't have that id right table 1 doesn't not have id equal to 1 and table 2 has that id then what should happen then insert should happen so this this uh, this these are the few uh, cases we have discussed in last video right just to recap i have uh, uh, discussed this thing great uh, just to show you the table structure again we had created two table uh, called as the table one then table 2 when i execute this two queries will i get some data no it doesn't have any data right okay so let's start to write a must statement so before writing must statement we should have a two thing the first thing is we should know source so our source is table 1 and we have need to give some allies I'm giving it as the A. Then we have we should have the source table from where we will compare as alice 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 I'm giving as a B on A dot ID is equal to B dot ID. This is my condition, right? When this condition get matched, so what should happen? When this condition should match then update should happen so i need to write update here update what i have to update i have to update the data that's a name call name column from table one to the name column of table two like this great let's end it and let's try to understand the case now in this one what we have written we are assuming that there there is always data between table 1 and table 2 and those are getting match and if that is match then what should happen if that is match then the name from the table 2 should be update should be updated with the table 1 now let's run this query and see do we have any data when i execute these two queries i can see there is no data so let's insert some data in both table to satisfy the case 1 insert into table one select one as id and the name equal to sam in table two we are also loading name as john another data for the name let's execute this and let's run this query again 
when we execute this query again we can see there is a data in table on sam and table to john what i'm trying to show you that when i execute the merge statement with a with a match condition that time the data from the table 2 if it match then this name should be updated to the table 1 so i have written a code in a such a way that you can see here these are the two table table 1 table 2 i have used there i have written some condition and i have written a one clause here when match when match means when this condition has been satisfied then what should happen then update should happen right so let's execute this query and see what happened when we execute this query this query get executed okay one more important point i would like to show you there is a one clause called as output if we specify that clause we can see here data what data has been updated so you can write something like a uh, output uh, there are two magic table you know that is inserted and the deleted so inserted will have the data when we do insert and or update when and deleted table will have the data when we delete the data this table will be available in a trigger so let's execute this query and see syntax error sorry let's execute this query and see one john previously the data for the table one was a sam and now you can see inserted sam also you can write one more table to more understand deleted because this this kind of out clause is very useful for just tracking purpose auditing purpose what was the old value what was what is the new value right actually this is already updated so let me show you let me because we have executed this two three times so let me clean up table once again so i'm clean up i'm doing clean up for table one now if i execute only table one i can see there is no data so just load some data in it again try to run it and see the data first table having a sam another is having john right so when i execute this query right so what should happen if data is match then it should happen the update right so update so i can see they are inserted so this new data has been inserted and what get data has deleted this data has been deleted right so again if i'm coming back back and running the query i can see here the john has been updated from table 2 to the table 1 this is our case 1 now our case 2 is that when not match by target so this is a special clause there are two most special clause in my statement uh, let me go one by one not match by not match by previously it was match by now it is not match by not match by target or the source now if i'm specifying target what does it mean it means that we need to perform some operation here right not match by target let's say if i want to perform some delete and let's check it out okay so basically um, this is case 2 here we can see not match by target what does it mean it means that the data uh, it means that the id is not present in the table one you can see this case one the id is present i think that is the case one the id is present and uh, table 2 doesn't have that id so what should happen so so there should be insert right so let's make some data ready for this implementation our scenario is the record is present in the table one no record is present in table two and that record is not present in the table one so what should happen delete now we are having a data in a table two but we don't have a data in a table one 
let's execute it so if that this is the case then we should insert the data from table to the table one so how we'll write when not matched by target it means this record is not matched by a target table then we need to write here insert statement insert insert what insert we have to insert two column in a target table don't need to specify the name of a table it will automatically consider id and name values what values we have to pass we and we are we need to pass the uh, values from a b table b dot id is a comma b dot name okay great so when i execute this entire query what will happen i can see something has happened you can see in left table there was entry and this was the our inserted output and this was a deleted because no record has been deleted because there was no data so when i come back again and if i execute this query again what will happen i can see there both the table are having the same record it means what it means that the record from table 2 has been copied to the another table target table now we have another case that's a uh, uh, table 1 has a record but table 2 doesn't have a record then we should we should delete the data from a table 1 right so it's very simple i think you go understood the concept here we need to try write like a when not match by source here previously we specified target now specify a source then perform simply delete if you are getting confused ignore this statement now when i execute this statement what will happen before executing the statement i would like to show you the data in table 1 and table 2 when i execute these two queries i can see there there is a data in table 1 but there is no data in table 2 my requirement is that if there is no data in table 2 then that record should be deleted from table 1 so let's execute it So before executing there is a one more uh, interesting uh, thing uh, I think I need to show you that's action so it will tell us what action has been taken okay let's execute this query when we execute this query we can see delete has been happened right and when I again go back to the select statement I can see here there is no record in both the table right so these are the cases we have covered just to recap uh, now uh, both table don't have any record just load this one what should happen when we have the data in a both table then the record should be updated so this query should be written as update as action and if i'll go back and i can query the data and i can see there the john has been updated with the sam right this is case one case two was if there is no data in a table one so what should happen let's delete it when we delete the data from the target table and again we create the data uh, again we execute this query we'll get the action as an insert and we can see the data from the source has been copied to the target and if i execute this to query again what will i get i can see there the action was the insert eh? right now let's say we have a data in table 2 and we don't have a data in a table 2 table 1 we have data table 2 doesn't have a data let's execute it and let's run the query if we run the query we can see there is a data in table 1 but there is no data in table 2 now let's the run let's run the mass statement now what should happen we'll see the action as a delete because if there is no record in table 2 then that record should be deleted from the table 1 if i am ex again executing this query i can see there is no record so this is the uh, merge statement and i try to make it as simple as you can find this query is very simple just first of all specify the uh, 
target table and then source table then there are a few clauses match not match by target not match by the source it's, these are very easiest clause if you want to perform this just need to specify the delete if you want to perform some update you need to specify which value you want to update you can uh, specify any new hard coded value also that's not the limitation so not match by target you can do pom pom insert you can also pass some um, some more values not from the column right you know about that so this was the must statement hope you understood and enjoyed our uh, two video regarding the must statement in the sql server and we are expecting you guys really like it and enjoy it right so if you like and enjoyed this video please don't forget us to subscribe it will help us to motivate and help us to create new videos and you will also get notification when we will upload a new video so once again thank you for watching have a great day